made a legend. Clint Eastwood, Sergio Leone's Fistful of Dollars. Only got to see a little bit, but that's all I need to get me motivated for another day of your Pratt Pack. But up, ba 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 yeah, a buck, any cup of coffee a la carte. And those special drinks, just $2. I love McDonald's and breakfast 24 hours a day. I don't think there's ever been anything better, really, created than that Egg McMuffin for breakfast. What my mother would have done to have six of those in the morning to get her kids off to school. No wonder why every two weeks when my dad would get paid, we were at the Beaver Falls McDonald's getting that burger, fry, and Coca-Cola. Nothing like it. Now, lots to get to. We're going to be at the Duquesne Light Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show tonight and tomorrow. I'm so excited. Going to try to get there a little early just to kind of walk around. And so when I hit the air tonight, I'm going to be able to give you just a great run through. And we're going to have John DeSantis drop by. He is the man behind this, and he's been doing it for 36 years. Absolutely have much respect for that man. And it's 10 acres, folks. You got the shuttle from Heinz Field, only $7. Incredible. No reason to not be there. And yeah, it's a little cold outside. We're expecting some snow, but don't worry about it. Get inside and just enjoy your day and evening at the Duquesne Light Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show through March 19th. Check it out, okay? Now, what else? Lots of things making news. Snow is one of them, as I mentioned. How much are we going to get? The best way to know anything when it comes to your weather? AccuWeather, out of state college, incredible talent. And you can plug into them 24 7. News Radio 1020 KDK. Our award winning newsroom is on the story. And of course, this is such a big storm that is expected up and down the East Coast that you know CBS Radio, 30 million listeners a week, will be on it as well, too. This Northeaster that they are calling Stella. So we'll have everything on that for you as well. Now, some of the stories trending today. If we get a chance to get into some open talk later tonight, we will be discussing this stuff. Uh, millions, could they lose their health care? We'll talk about that tonight. And also, the Department of Justice wanting evidence on this alleged wiretap story. And so far, nothing has happened. And John McCain, the great senator from that state of Arizona, said, look, there's no reason to expect that there was any wiretapping going on. And also, he believes there is uh, more shoes to drop when it comes to this Russian story. And he is the president of China. He is Chin Ching Ping. He will be coming to Mar-a-Lago, that Florida resort, for President Donald Trump. He is supposed to ask him to stop next month. And Michael Brown, some video trending today. You may have seen it. Social media, it's everywhere. Hours before he was killed. We'll be following that story as well. And did you see this story from Representative Steve King? Making me scratch my head a little bit. There was a tweet over the weekend that he said, we can't restore our country with somebody else's babies. Well, recently in an interview with CNN, he said he's sticking to that. That's the way he believes our country will be able to restore itself by not letting these illegal immigrants in the country. The House of Commons in England is debating Brexit right now. And, well, it just continues to be a debate worldwide as well. Now, we got some sports news to get to. Of course, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to stop by and run down all these teams that you can expect to be in the hunt for the NCAA title when that Final Four gets together in just a couple of weeks. But it's going to be an exciting week, rolling into the weekend. Lots of folks are going to be watching all that great basketball, and I hope that you'll stick with me here. And, of course, stay tuned to 93.7 The Fan and News Radio 1020 KDK. The sports department does such a great job. So, please, we got you covered. And CBS, this is what they do best on the network. So, We'll come back just a couple minutes to kind of go through some of that for you. But in the NBA last night, how about James Harden? Triple-double. Saw a little bit of this last night. He was just, it was muscle beach party time. 38 points. Um, he had 11 assists and 10 rebounds. LeBron James had 30, but it wasn't enough. Houston beat the Cavs 117-112. to 112. Pens are at Calgary tonight, 9 o'clock. So after a long day, kick back and enjoy the Penguins. They're 43-16-8. PGA News, Adam Hadwin. Finished with a 71 and a one-shot win at the Valspar Championship. But the big story this week in golf. There you go. You can stop in at Coons Market or Sheets and pick up some Arnold Palmer as you enjoy the Golf Channel. Another king creation. 
It is the Arnold Palmer Invitational, his beautiful Bay Hill course in Orlando. That starts on Thursday. NASCAR yesterday, Logano and Bush, they were slugging it out, folks. Man, what a race, NASCAR. But when it was all said and done, Martin Truex Jr. got the checkered flag in Las Vegas. Now, a little bit of entertainment news for you. My man, Scott Tatey, Beaver Allegheny County Times. Please plug into him. Better yet, get a subscription, timesonline.com. Been so busy, haven't had a chance to really see all the things that he is talking about. But I try to get caught up once or twice a week. And this morning, doing a little homework on the computer, I plugged into timesonline.com. And here's one of the stories he is uh, writing about today. Hanson, you remember that great band 25 years ago? I've always dug pop music, folks, and they were really at the height of it. Multi-Grammy Grammy Award winning Hansons. Well, the Hansons will be at the Carnegie of Homestead on September 27th, part of their 25th anniversary tour. Hard to believe, 25 years they've been making great music. So tickets are going to be going on sale Saturday, September 27th. Hanson coming to the Carnegie of Homestead, that's September 27th. Now, what else? You've got Ed Sheeran, who is just about as big as it gets right now. He is always hanging around the top of the charts, recently released a new album. He's coming to the PPG Paints Arena, September the 26th, and tickets will go on sale St. Patrick's Day this Friday. And coming to the Key Bank Pavilion, tickets go on sale Friday, Boston. But guess who's opening up? Bang. I love rock and roll. The Incredible. And she is as good today as she was when I first heard her and played her on the radio decades ago, Joan Jett. So that's July 28th. And you can get tickets on Friday. Also, the wonderful people at the Beaver Allegheny County Times have a home show of their own that is March 25th at the beautiful Community College Golden Dome, one of the best assets we have in this region. That's on March 25th. Their home show, March 25th at the Community College Golden Dome. You can find out more at timesonline.com. So, I'll be back in just a few, talking some basketball. So you stay right where you are, okay?